Scott's going a slight pivot turn. Nicely done. It's probably dumb to try and do this speed up, but I thought, what the hell? Whoa, fuck. No, it's just safer to put a foot down. Being update on poor quality control now with CD crossfires. Andrew's had his toe cap here starting to fall apart. And on the other one here, you can just see the soles coming off. So just seems to be in a long line of um, CD crossfires falling apart nowadays since they moved to their Romanian factory instead of the Italian factory. These are the tracks we have already cut on this property. Today, we are heading further down the mountain range to extend them. Ah, oh, interesting. Try hitting a ramp at 165 km per hour on a Honda CR500. Robbie Madison achieved a very respectable jump of 107 meters or 246 feet. Be more careful with his uh, pivot turns. There is a real art to cutting single track, especially if you want to avoid causing erosion. Instead of going straight up and down straight bits, we zigzag our way up. It provides good pivot turn practice, but also means eroded ruts won't form. One problem with cutting single track is guessing what the track will be like once it is bedded in. With use, the track gets easier to ride. So if you want hard technical tracks, you have to make them bloody hard <laughs> right from the start. So I've been using this Zack Speed Sprint armor for a couple of years now and I really like it. You've got this great turtle shell type uh, chest protector. The back of it, it's got a multitude of pockets in there and side pockets and uh, there's a three litre bladder which is really generous and plenty of tools I can carry in there. Um, I stuck this on, this is a great little pocket to put your phone in. Works really, really well actually. Just zip tied on. Um, the tube here, if it's just left to go free, it'll bang, bang, bang. So I just put a rubber band on, I can tighten that up a bit, but you know, you can still drink out of that and stretch the rubber band. A few of us have got these shoulder protectors that we've pinched off old compression suits. So dodgy. <laughs> Just zip tied them on <laughs> and um, yeah, tighten the strap up a bit, but that works really well. And I'm looking forward to when Zach um, hopefully put their own shoulder protectors on. That would really complete this unit for me. This rock ledge, very unnerving. You need to do a pivot turn onto it, but if you fall downhill, it could be a two metre drop with the bike landing on you. The tracks can change dramatically after rain. This soil turns quickly to clay and in some parts we made it too steep for wet weather. And later we had to create easier side tracks when the clay was too slippery. 